Yeah. All right, hey, what's going on, everybody? It's 10 2 on the fan. It's the Teak and Tierney Show. How are we today? We got a little bit of this. We got a little bit of that. Mr. Barber, how you feeling today, homie? I'm good. Okay. I'm kind of annoyed at Aaron Rodgers. And He's Aaron not even Rogers. our guy. He's not even our guy yet, meaning a New York New Yorker. And we look, we have Ian Rappaport on every single week. I think we'll have him on again this week for the wrap-up last time, maybe. Yep, yep, I think it's tomorrow. Yeah, and probably we'll reach out to him should other news happen around the league at some point in the offseason. But we have Ian every week, and Ian's job is to source information about things that are going on in this in the NFL world. And last week, or earlier this week, I should say, Aaron Rodgers took some real shots at Ian Rappaport. Basically saying, he doesn't know anybody in my inner circle. I don't have his number. He doesn't have my number. Basically, shut the hell up, Ian. And he, Schefter, too. And Schefter. But forget Schefter. Because, because no. he, Rappaport's our guy. Okay. Right? Basically, shut the hell up. Stop talking about me. And as I'm reading the full quotes, I mean, you heard the snippets. But as I'm reading the full quotes from his Pat McAfee um, uh, a weekly appearance, Talking about Schefter, talking about Rappaport, basically saying, I've been, nobody knows what's going on with me except for me and stop talking about me. It just made me start to realize that if he is that sensitive, that he gets upset that people, reporters, opinion makers, uh, influencers, whoever, want to talk about him, he is going to struggle in New York. And I don't know if it's the right fit for him. I don't know if I want him in New York if this is going to be his reaction to things that don't matter, right? If Aaron Rodgers doesn't want people talking about him, talking about his offseason, talking about his personal life, talking about all these things Mm -hmm. that are going on with Aaron Rodgers, he needs to stop talking. Maybe he will. He needs to stop going on Pat McAfee. And Maybe saying, he'll be coming on with us. I'm, I'm doing this and that and the other thing. And and then someone else says, okay, well, that's interesting that you're going into a hole for four, for <laughs> yeah. four days. And, yeah. Why you are know, you talking and, about my hole? Dark. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right? Don't tell us. A little us. contradiction there. I don't care huh. what you do in your offseason. Once this regular season ends and or the playoffs end, and I don't care. Unless you tell me, and it's quirky. If you're going to tell me, you know what, I'm getting in the gym, I'm going to grind, I'm going to work out with my string and conditioning coach, I'm going to meet with this new quarterback coach, I'll be like, all right, cool. That's what you're supposed to do. Yeah. But when you go and you're doing something that feels odd to normal society, which is going to sit in a cabin in the woods for four days in complete uh, sensory isolation, it's just kind of, we're going to talk about it. Like you have to. It's our job to. And for him to get offended by that, he's not going to handle the intensity of the New York media scape. That's obviously traditional media, social, and everything else if he's here. I don't know if I want him here because it's going to turn into a quick pain in the ass <laughs> of Aaron Rodgers. It's thin. Wow. It's that that shallow that he's taking shots at Ian Rappaport. Think about who we're talking about. Yeah. He's not it's not like it's some provocateur, <laughs> right? This is Ian Rappaport we're talking about. Come and Schefter. on. And Schefter. Schefter. But come I mean, on. I'll, listen, I'll take my chances. Mm-hmm. I'll take my chances. Now until until he starts playing somewhat mediocre well, and then the fire starts blazing. Okay, now let me ask you this him. because this is the interesting part. Well, at first it's a very interesting take. I didn't know you were going here. He's been taking to steady one Aaron Rodgers. Oh, he's taking a he shot at our dude. He, man. He's going to work in New York. Taking a okay. shot at our dude. I got gotcha. you. Um, first of all, what is so bad about the New York media? What is Mike Lupa going to no. write something about no, you? There's nothing bad. Exactly. But so if, no matter where but, he plays, but, but, the uh, national media is always going to weigh in. It doesn't yeah. matter if he plays here or Vegas, Rappaport, Schefter, the McAfee spot, everybody else is going to pipe in. It's not like, oh, he's a jet now. Suddenly it's in the – look at the – did you see that takedown the hit job by Rich Samini? Did you see <laughs> Brian Costello? Absolutely a visit. I'm not saying that they wouldn't do it, but and, – and I'm not trying to disrespect those people at all. They're very good at their job. But it doesn't carry the weight that it used to. Well, it doesn't. But the the volume of media, the throngs that come out come at you is real, right? I also I was also reading about this whole Kadarius Tony thing, and you know, um, Juju Smith Schuster, who's on a tear as of late, saying, "I don't know what the Giants did with you know why they got rid of Kadarius Tony." You know why? Because Kadarius Tony didn't work in New York. 
Obviously, culture-wise with the New York Giants, he didn't fit because he's a knucklehead. But he was flapping off at the mouth. He was like, he couldn't play here, right? He just, he couldn't handle this market. Certain people can't handle this market. And I would believe that Aaron Rodgers would until I see him getting like angry. Like he felt legitimately angry at Ian Rappaport for saying, you know what? I think he's good. I, I hear he's going in on Monday. And Rogers, I'm not going in on Monday. You don't know what we're talking about. I've been had this plan for four months. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> Come on, Take dude. Take you spicy today. Wow, this it's is an interesting take. When people get like... I don't know. They they take. So you don't think there was anything contrived about it? There was no like messaging or reasoning. You think that no. he was truly I think he thin was, skinned yes. and, uh, and well, yes. okay, yes. and a possible because foreshadow to what just, he might be like he just here. Kept going on. Yeah, like like I, I have my inner circle, and my inner circle is not talking to Ian Rappaport or Adam Schefter. No disrespect to Ian Rappaport. Obviously, he's disrespecting him, but he doesn't know what the hell is going on in my life. We've had this plan for four months. This, he doesn't know this, so stop talking about me. You don't have my number. I don't have your number. I'm not. Your friend, all due respect, you do your job great. You're not my friend. Stop talking about me. Okay, stop talking about yourself and we'll stop talking about you. Like, it just, I don't know. It just, it irks me a little bit because I like Aaron Rodgers as a player, but there are some quirky things about that dude. And we've known this for a lot of years. And I just don't know if it's going to work here in New York. Certain people just can't play here. Let me play this for everybody. So this was with McAfee or Rodgers. Go ahead. No, I have no problem with Ian Rappaport, Schefter. I think they're really good at their jobs. When it comes to me, they don't know. Shit. They really don't. They don't have. They don't have inner source. They don't have people in my inner circle who are sources. I can promise you that. And anybody who would talk to them is not in my inner circle. It's that simple. Now, I think part of the problem. I love that, that, by the way. Part of the problem is that he cussed a lot in this. Okay. Like he said, they don't know bleep. He, you know, shut the bleep up. Like he, like he could tell he was angry. It wasn't like he was just. Maybe he's just know. getting ready to fit in with us. I mean, we like I to curse. Mean, maybe you know? I, I don't know. He's I, leaving the the pastures at Green Bay. He's got to think about. He's got to make it a little tough. Think about what we're talking about. We're not talking about uh, Ian Rappaport is reporting that Aaron Rodgers has a potential labrum tear. It uh-huh. could jeopardize his career. We're talking about him disappearing for four days and the timing. This is what we're talking about. The timing of him going into a a black hole sensory deprivation for four days. That's what he's talking about. And he's that upset? Really? Like, who cares? Mm. Truly. If Aaron Rodgers went into that hole a week ago, or he's going next week, or he's going a month from now, does it matter? The answer is absolutely not, unless he makes it matter. And then when we try to opine upon it, not us, but Ian Rappaport or Schefter tries to opine upon it, he's going to start dropping cuss words, right, and saying he doesn't know any, you know, crap about my, you know what I mean, about my inner circle, mm-hmm. the explicative he used. Come on, Aaron Rodgers. Well, you got to be better oh, okay. than that. Okay, 877-337-6666. Uh, really, nothing there to me strikes me as a worrisome foreshadow about how Rodgers is going to comport himself here if he comes here. Matter of fact, I see, it the exa- <laughs> I see it the exact opposite way. I'll tell mm. you why. I think he's a little bored. I think I think you get I, – I really do. I think that you know, he loved, right. loved playing at Lambeau. Mm-hmm. You know, love the the family feel. It's the most unique NFL city out there. It might be the most unique sporting city. No doubt. Uh, domestically here, it's just it's just a different world. It's like 1950s still. You go back, it's the 50s. You yeah. have happy days you transported yeah, to. Yeah, the ownership structure, it's non-traditional. Yep, yep. It's historic. different. Yeah. There's, there's not venom. Uh, there's more appreciation. It's totally different speed. We get that, right? I think that, I think at this stage, he, he needs a little different motivation. Mm. Uh, and if it's calling out, and I don't think he did it in a, in a way that was so unprofessional or so damaging to the character of Rat. I'm not saying that you're saying this either, but Rappaport or Schefter, whatever you've got to reach for to internalize and 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 get a little extra gas in the tank at the age of 39, I'm all for. Now, the other reason I'm not worried about this, even if he was, over, let's say he comes here and he's overly ornery, overly reactive. Uh, overly soft or thin-skinned, he still has the ability to control his own narrative each week. Mm -hmm. And that's why it might be a two-day cycle, but between the Giants and between all the things going on, it's buried for a day. He goes on McAfee's show, provides a little clarity, throws three touchdowns, Jets win 35-17 over the Pats, story's done. I don't think it's a big deal. Mm. I'm very surprised 
that you view it that seriously. I think it's a really interesting take I think from it's somebody po- who used the media effectively, who well, played here. That, that's, this, that that surprised this, me this that has, you're saying this. This has nothing to do with me. This is absolutely nothing about me. This is this is me thinking Aaron Rodgers could feel a lot of media pressure and a media inquiry. I mean, think about it. He is one of the greatest quarterbacks of all time and one of, uh, certainly one of the top two or three in our generation. And 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 if he comes here, obviously that's what we're going to talk about, how great he is, what he can potentially do for the New York Jets. But if it's little, like if the little things are what set him off, forget the stuff that happens on the field because that he never gets, he never talks about that. Like we never hear him upset about, a bad game or the I mean, wrong maybe, route. Yeah, maybe he'll like throw a passive aggressive. Yeah, you know these guys got to learn these routes. Yeah. Right? I mean, he did that last year with Christian Watson. Um, you know, out in Green Bay. Like maybe you hear that, but of course, like we can see that, right? We know that. But when you start digging into his personal life, which is bound to happen, and it starts affecting him emotionally to the point where he's cussing out, like NFL. Insiders? Mm-hmm. Like, what? Was, seriously? Maybe he just had a bad day. I don't know, but it was just a poor indication to me on how he's going to deal with the media in New York. If Ian Rappaport and, and Adam Schefter are front and center of his of his bow and arrow and his target as he's trying to strike him down, he don't know crap about his life. You don't know my insiders. Come on, Aaron Rodgers. you got to be better than that. All right. We are inside of our Town Fair Tire Studio. Our friends at Town Fair remind you that you always get the guarantee lowest price on name brand tires from Connecticut to Maine. Nobody beats Town Fair Tire. Nobody. And by the way, he's not coming here anyway. So. Stop with this. <laughs> Just now you. batting the first baseman, Aaron Judge. We'll get to that later as well. It's interesting. Uh, all right. Let's get to uh, first up. Tony's up in the Bronx. Tony, what's going on, buddy? How are you? Hey, what's up, guys? What's, what's up, Tony? Tony? Hey, uh, I agree with Tiki on this uh, here. I mean, I think this guy, uh, Rogers, is a, is a wrong fit for uh, for the city. I really do, man. I mean, this guy is just so stubborn and so in his own way. And, you know, I don't know how to even explain it. I mean, we're all New Yorkers, right? Yep. So we got an obnoxious side to us. I mean, that <laughs> other parts of the country, even Massachusetts, I mean, they even consider us like obnoxious uh, New Yorkers, right? Yep. But if he comes in here as a newbie and does that, I mean, we're just going to lash out on him like crazy. Not I if mean, he lights it up on Sundays. Lesson, right? Not if he lights it up on Sundays, we won't. We won't even well, care. But I- even think I don't even think that he'll be able to do that. I mean, I, I think I don't think it'll work out. I really don't, man. I just uh, that's just my take on yep. it, guys. Okay. Uh, I know. Hey, BT, I know you want him here. Of course, and, uh, I want him. Hey, my brother, I apologize. I just don't think he's the right fit. No, I'm, you know, listen, just, no apology. Hey. I got you. <laughs> I, I respect your opinion, Thank man. You, I Tony. do. Now, if you want to tell me that, listen, he's obviously. He's not been exposed to what, like, Eli was exposed to and all the New York athletes judge, you know, the pursuit of the record this year. So there will be a little bit of a transition, I would imagine, a little. But the one thing about football, and very much unlike baseball, and even basketball, because I, I brought up Marbury yesterday. We were talking about Jalen mm-hmm. Brunson, how great he's been, right? And, you know, if you're a basketball player, Kyrie Irving more recently, and you have a, either an attitude or a, 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 a division with the media or whatever – you're kind of omnipresent because you play basketball at least three, sometimes four games a week. Mm-hmm. Baseball, you play every night. Yep. Football, you play once. And there's the one session that you have to do for the NFL. You speak after the game, and then it's like on to the next one. So I'm not saying that it would be a perfect fit that he would just so seamlessly transition here uh, and and not have any missteps or project anything that maybe is not something you want to project as a quarterback. I just don't think it's a big deal because of the nature of the sport and the nature of the sports cycle of news. Maybe. You know what I mean? Because nowadays, these guys talk once a week. Once a week is all you'll get from a star player. Yeah. It used to be every you're there every day. Like, you'd have a conversation with the media every day in some capacity. Yeah, Now now it's not the case. Close your eyes. for. Imagine, let's say... Week three, I don't know, playing the Dolphins. Let's say he has a rough week, okay? Let's say he's here. They're, the Jets are one and one, okay? One impressive win, one loss, maybe a kind of expected, well well competed, tough competed game. 
And then week three, they lose to the Dolphins, and he throws two picks. Or he doesn't see something from the blind side. Whomever gets beat, puts it on the turf, Jets lose, he gets hammered, right? Week three. Goes to the podium after the game, and he projects disgust or thin skin. Of course we'll react to that. Right? I don't know what you guys are talking about. Mm-hmm. Uh, can you hear me? Anything yeah, yeah, that I'm saying? Of course. Because you guys have been talking for a minute straight <laughs> on the talkback. No matter what he projects, all he has to do is go on McAfee and say, you know what? Yeah, I was a little bit, I was a little worked up the other day. Uh, Story's uh, gone. Yeah. Story's but, gone. Yeah, but still, it's, I, I just see New Yorkers getting annoyed by that. I can see it. I can, I can see, especially if he's not playing good. Do you think I would get annoyed by it? Um, yes. I do, actually. Especially if he starts taking shot at the criticism. Right? This isn't about yeah. the story. This is him taking a shot at Ian Rappaport's reporting. Is it that big of a shot? It is yes, he's really? cussing at him. You don't but know. He's prefaced it with I respect him. He's good at okay. his job. Okay, so backhand the compliment. Well, I know a lot right? of people do that. Hey, listen, he's a really good guy, right? but I, but throw, at least he's throwing said some it. sugar while throwing some salt, right? Yeah, but that's that's what he's doing. I mean, was it I got you. I didn't listen. It wasn't like it was this That's because systematic you're, you're, takedown of, of Ian Rappaport. Uh, his character assassination. Yeah, it was. Said he doesn't know my people. Ian Rappaport and is, he doesn't. is reporting something about Aaron Rodgers. Aaron Rodgers basically said Ian doesn't know what the blank he's talking about. And he used explicatives. He doesn't know anybody in my circle, which he probably does because he co-hosts the Pat McAfee show when McAfee is out. So he's probably talking to McAfee himself, right? I mean, I, who knows where who knows where Ian? I don't think McAfee and Rogers out. really connected. There was a story on that. Like it's it's more Rogers using that as a platform. It's more AJ Hawk uh, yeah, who's really tight with is. Rogers. I mean, I I I don't even I can't imagine how much Aaron Rodgers gets paid to do that do that spot. And no. it's not it's not insignificant. I promise you. Um, because why would he, right? Why mm-hmm. would he help promote Pat McAfee's show? That, no, that, that's when really you first said that, I was like, about a month ago that came up, and I think you said like a million. I'm like, a million? Pat McAfee about makes you, a but ton of money. Right. He no, makes I know. a ton of money. I know he does. The well, show the makes a things. ton of money. Yep. Yep. The advertisers pay him a ton of money. Mm-hmm. There's, there's no way Aaron Rodgers isn't benefiting because he goes on every week, and every week we talk about it. Whatever Aaron Rodgers says, we talk about it. It's it, it's true. I mean, it's the it's the number I, one news I, item. I mean, Pat Mahomes. It really is. Pat Mahomes is the best player in the NFL right now, evidenced by his Super Bowl MVP and league MVP, which he broke the streak, by the way, because you, you win the league MVP, you don't usually win the Super Bowl. Pat, we don't talk about Pat Mahomes' life. We don't Let's talk about, about his dopey brother who's annoying yeah, as hell, who's who resurfaced cares? back Jackson's on the scene. Jackson's an idiot. Who cares? Oh, but, God. But we don't what a talk about show Pat that guy is. We talk about Aaron Rodgers, I mean, almost literally every week. <sighs> yeah, 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 we do, we do. Dan's up in Poughkeepsie. What's going on, Danny? What's up, Dan? Dan, you ready to roll or no? Hi. Hey, what's up, man? 